on screen you're looking at 58-86 and this is uh probably been the most productive of the uh, of the fecky sows just relative to the quality that she's generated uh, this one's been extra good. She was an open uh, breeding age gilt when we found her at Fecky's. Uh, I can still remember the pen, the the lot that she was in out back, and uh, she was really impressive as a breeding age gilt, and she's been uh, nothing short of that as a sow. Uh, we've had some pretty good success with this one on, on several different matings, but to start with, uh, we bred her to Kingpin, and there was a gilt out of that litter uh, that went to Texas as a show gilt. Um, she actually got bred at, at Lackey's. Uh, and when they had their production sale a year ago, she was the second pick of the herd. Uh, Kyle Canal selected her at, uh, I believe, 21,000 in Lackey's production sale that time. So uh, that gilt was extra good and uh, was a kingpin out of this sow. We retained a couple shadows out of her litter. Uh, we've got a very good steel town daughter that sells in the open gilt section of this sale as 23-7 would be a steel town daughter. And uh, again, this spring we bred her to Ray Ray, and that was a very sellable litter uh, in the spring showcase. But uh, this sow is very good. Uh, she looks the part. She generates. Um, we've got her bred to Gangster this time, and we're very excited about this mating. And in fact, at this point, I can tell you that we just acquired Gangster, and uh, he's made his way back to the hill, and we're very excited to run him out uh, on sale day. So this one's bred to Gangster. I think this is a very good mating for her. And uh, to up the ante on this sow, we're going to sell this sow with two straws, a frozen kingpin, and uh, that'll give the guy to reach the, the buyer the opportunity to reach back and make another uh, kingpin gilt out of this sow. So, 58 86, uh, she came from the Fecky program. She's bred to gangster, and she sells with two straws of frozen kingpin semen.